Hi everyone. In this video we'll be looking at how to add custom CSS in Avada. You can build almost anything with the Avada website builder without knowing any code at all, but there's a reasonable chance that eventually you will want to make some changes that require some custom CSS. If you do, this is what you need to know. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it is the primary way to describe how HTML elements display on the screen. Avada has of course a lot of CSS built into it, which controls how the various elements are displayed. And there are literally thousands of global, page and element options that affect the CSS and how things are then displayed. But there might come a day when you want something to display in a certain way that is not covered by an option. This is where custom CSS comes in. You can add custom CSS to add to or override the default CSS, thereby getting the elements to display in a different way. CSS can get very complex and it's beyond the scope of official ThemeFusion support, but we have made it as easy as possible to add custom CSS in Nevada, and have also provided some resources to help you get going with it. Please see the documentation links listed below the video. Learning how to apply custom CSS is probably the single one thing that will give you the most flexibility when designing your website. There are several places in Nevada that custom CSS can be applied. Firstly, there is the CSS section in the global options. For this, head to Avada, Options, Custom CSS. This is the best place to add any global CSS. Any custom CSS entered here will override the default CSS. You can also place custom CSS on a page by page basis, using the custom CSS tab of the Avada page options, or through the custom CSS icon on the Avada Builder main control bar, found at the top of each page in the backend builder. Any CSS placed in here will only apply to that specific page. Finally, if you use a child theme, you can add custom CSS there if you prefer, in the style.css file, and this will also take precedence over the default theme CSS. Ok, let's look at an example. CSS only really needs to be applied when there are no options to help customise the element in question. For my example, I'm going to look at the construction pre-built website. If I look at the work page, which uses the portfolio element, we can see the filters above the portfolio items. In this specific case, if we want to centre these filters, instead of having them aligned to the left, we will need to add some custom CSS to achieve this, you might wonder why we don't just add an option for this, and we are regularly adding new element and global options all the time, but there will always be some design ideas that require CSS to succeed, and we just can't cover every possibility in the options themselves. Ok, so let's look at how to change the design of these portfolio filters using custom CSS. The first question is where we should add it. We don't have a child theme active with this pre-built site, so we have two options in the Custom CSS tab in the Global Options, or in the Custom CSS section on the actual page in question. If we add it to the Global Options, the Custom CSS will be global, and if we add it to the page, it will only apply to that page. In this case, it's not going to make much difference where we add it, but what's important to note here is that if you only want the Custom CSS to apply to a particular page, then add it on that page, and not in the Global Options. For this example, I'll add it to the Custom CSS tab in the Global Options. That way, if the portfolio element is ever used on any other page, the filters will still be centred. I'll paste my Custom CSS snippet here, which basically tells the filter to align itself in the centre. Of course, I need to remember to save the options. So let's now go back to the front end and refresh our page. And as we can see, our new CSS styling has been applied, and the portfolio filters are now aligned in the centre. Perfect. Custom CSS is a huge topic, and as mentioned it is beyond the scope of official ThemeFusion support. There are many places to get help though, including our community forum and the Avada Users Group on Facebook, where these things are discussed regularly. I have also added links to our documentation mentioned previously to help you get started and some other links to various tools to help you learn how to inspect and apply custom CSS. Ok, this concludes our video on how to add custom CSS in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, 
please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.